polishes it all off with a touchdown scamper. Randy Bullock to kick off for Cincinnati. Fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. Here comes Cobb. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Set to take over again to Sean Watson and this Texans offense. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't, not until you balance it with the error side. You know, and in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game, but that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. They have a catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Back now in Houston, all even as we get ready to start the fourth. The Texans on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They stay on the ground on first for Johnson. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Throwing on second and three. Watson, he gets it to Cooks. 11 yards there, first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They'll run on first down. It's Johnson. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. The Texans on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and seven. From the gun, here's Watson. That's complete to Cooks. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 22-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. On first down, it's Johnson. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Open man, the tight end fouls. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Here's Watson on third down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans have broken the tie. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is the absolute production on the field. 
His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. So five yards for running into. Lucky it wasn't 15 for roughing. No doubt about it, because they protect the kickers and the guys holding the ball almost as much as they protect quarterbacks in the pocket. They don't want those types of injuries. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Burrow now, a big spot for the Heisman Trophy winner. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. At the 23, at second and 12. Here's Burrow. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And that is incomplete. The linebacker, Zach Cunningham, there defensively to make that play. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. score down here we go they're gonna go for it here on fourth down they'll try and throw for it with Burrow he's got his man here it's green and they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield the play began back at the 23 and they pick up 23 just a yard or two shy of the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there. Making the defense think it's going to be a pass. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now. And that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He's back to throw. Complete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. But he's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Now it's Burrow. Slant pass to Boyd. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Tyler Boyd, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game.
Coaches must really like to see that from the quarterback because he's had the interceptions in this game, but they're able to connect on the touchdown pass. And teammates love to see that because they know that they miss blocks during a game, but they come back and make them later on. They miss tackles, right? They miss making plays, but the spotlight is magnified on your quarterback. And when he stands up to the pressure and comes back and throws a touchdown pass after throwing some picks earlier, they feel great about that guy. And likewise for him personally, as a rookie quarterback, has to give him more confidence. Well, they have.